Hi everyone. Today we'll be looking at revolutionizing learning PLCs with Pallet 3D Simulation. We will demonstrate pallet management logic on the Do More PLC Simulator and Easy PLC. Easy PLC software suite includes a machine simulator named Machine Simulator MS. It has a variety of machines that can be programmed and customized. One of these machines is a pallet management machine, which utilizes four conveyor belts, three photo cells, two stops. The virtual machine can be programmed using the Do More Designer PLC Simulator. You will use the Do More Designer PLC software to establish communication between the simulator and the pallet management machine and connect them via Modbus TCP or Ethernet. This will enable seamless communication and data exchange between the two systems. To demonstrate the programming of the virtual machine, we will follow the five steps for program development. These steps provide structural approach to ensuring efficient and effective development of the ladder logic program. By following these steps, we can ensure that the program meets the specifications and functions as intended. Now let's dive into the first step of the program development process. This step involves defining the task of the pallet management. By clearly defining the task, we can establish the objectives and requirements that the program needs to fulfill. This will serve as the foundation for the subsequent steps in the development process. Step 1. Define the task. The first step of the Do More or any PLC program development is to determine what, what must be done. Start the Easy PLC Machine Simulator or MS. Select the Start button on the main page or select Machines from the main menu at the Machine Simulator window. All the available machines will now be displayed. Click on the 01A Pallet Management. This is the example we will be programming. To the left of the screen, information will be displayed on how the pallet management machine needs to function. The system has four conveyor belts, three photocells, and two stops. The object is to manage the belts and the two stops to load the pallets with boxes at the loading station. The pallets in the loading station must be isolated to avoid being hit by the other pallets in the line. The PLC must request the box loading once the pallet is in the loading station. The box can take up to one to seven seconds. Once the pallet is loaded, it must be released to the output belt, and the cycle repeats. To save energy, the conveyor belt should not be running continuously. They must be deactivated at necessary moments so that not to suffer wear and tear or extra energy. The pallet management simulator has a demo mode for this built-in machine. This will allow you to watch the operation of the conveyor's sensors and stops. Select the demo mode for the pallet management. The demo mode will show you the basics of the pallet management operation. Move around the 3D environment. The icons on the top of the window will allow you to move around this 3D environment. The first icon is a default selection. This will enable you to move around without bumping into the components. The last icon will automatically show you around this virtual environment. First person mode will mimic a person in your 3D learning world. The third person will show you an operator and their relationship to the pallet management machine. Once we understand what must be done, we can move on to the next step in developing the Do More PLC ladder logic. Step 2. Define the inputs and outputs. Start the pallets management in start mode. Select the View I.O. to display the inputs and outputs required for this machine. The Pallet Management Machine Simulator will require 7 digital outputs and 3 digital inputs. Click on the digital outputs will activate it. The input photo cells can then be seen responding to the sensors. Spend time understanding the I.O. inputs and outputs functions fully. You can move around in this 3D environment and see the I.O. and items from different angles. The reset button on the bottom of the machine simulator window will reset the scene back to the start. The Do More series of PLC uses a fixed Modbus memory ad area. This area can be seen in the following chart. Step 3. Develop the logical sequence of operation. A flowchart or sequence table is used to understand the process that must be controlled thoroughly. It must also answer questions like, 
What happens when electrical power or pneumatic air is lost? What happens when inputs and outputs devices fail? Do we need redundancy? This step is where you can save yourself a lot of work by understanding everything about the operation. It will help prevent you from continuously rewriting the PLC program logic. Knowing all these answers up front is vital in developing the PLC program. This simple application has four conveyors. We can determine the logic for each conveyor independently of the others. Pallet Creator Conveyor will generate the pallets. It will be activated based on Photocell 1. When this sensor does not see a pallet, it will turn on. When it sees the pallet, it will turn off. Conveyor Belt 1 will be on when Photocell 1 does not see a pallet. If Photocell 1 is on and Photocell 2 is off, the conveyor will advance the pallet to the Conveyor Belt 2. Conveyor Belt 2 or Loading Station will be on if Photocell 2 is off. Once a box is loaded onto a pallet, Conveyor Belt 2 will run until Photocell 2 is off again. Conveyor Belt 3 will be on once the box is on the pallet at the loading station. Conveyor Belt Stop 1 will be on when a pallet is at the loading station. It will turn off once the box is loaded onto the pallet and Conveyor Belt 2 will turn on. Conveyor Belt Stop 2 will be on when the pallet moves into the loading station. This will then turn off when the box is loaded. A PLC programmer must know everything about the sequence and operation of the machine before programming. Ask questions or view existing documentation to ensure you understand the logical steps of the machine. Step 4. Develop the Do More PLC program. Writing the ladder logic code for a PLC example will be the next step in our program development. Start the Do More Designer PLC software and select Start a New Project. Select Document Editor, Control D from the Main Menu Tools. We will enter all digital inputs and output names for our ladder logic program. Detailed information on the Do More PLC and Simulator can be found on our website. We will be using the Do More Simulator with our Easy PLC Machine Simulator. The first rung will control the pallet creator and the start conveyor. When the photocell 1 is not seen, the conveyor is turned on and vice versa. Conveyor belt 1 has two conditions to activate it. The first is when photocell 1 does not see a signal. The second condition is when photocell 1 is on and photocell 2 does not see the signal. Conveyor belt 2 also has two conditions to activate it. The first is when photocell 2 does not see a signal. The second condition is when photocell 2 is on and there is a box on the pallet. This is indicated by an internal contact bit. The next three rungs will control the box creator. If we have photocell 2 on and not photocell 3, an internal bit is set, indicating that the pallet is loaded and ready for a box. If we do not have photocell 2, the pallet box and the pallet loading bits are reset. The box creator will turn on when the pallet is loaded and the pallet exit internal bit is not on. Rung 7 will control the box on pallet internal bit. This is set when we have photocells 2 and 3. Conveyor belt 3 is controlled by the internal pallet exit bit. A timer controls the pallet exit bit. This bit is set on for a pallet when the box is not the loading station. The timer is set for 3 seconds to ensure enough time to exit the loading station. This bit will reset after the time delay. Note that you want to minimize the timers you use in a conveyor program. A sensor is always better than a timer. The conveyor belt stops are used to align the pallet in a station. Conveyor belt stop 1 is on when we do not have photocell 1 and photocell 2. Conveyor belt stop 2 is on when we do not have photocell 2. This is the end of our ladder logic program. Save the program, transfer the program to the do more simulator. Call up the system configuration in the Do More Designer software. This is done by selecting System Configuration from the main menu PLC System Configuration. 
This will show us the current IP address of the Do More Designer simulator and will ensure that the Modbus TCP server is enabled. Step 5. Test the program. We use Modbus TCP on our Do More PLC simulator to communicate with the Easy PLC machine simulator. Call up the Pallet Managing Machine Simulator in start mode. The status of the machine simulator will be at the bottom of the screen. Currently we have no PLC connected. Select I.O. drivers on the middle bottom of the screen. The machine simulator I.O. number will be displayed. Ensure we select more I.O. than the number required for our pallet management machine. The Easy PLC driver is selected by default. Under the driver pull down menu, select Modbus driver. This driver will communicate Modbus TCP or Ethernet and Modbus RTU serial. Under the driver pull down menu, select Modbus driver. Select the configure button. We can now enter the information for our Modbus driver. Select TCP IP. This means the Ethernet port on our computer will communicate to the Do More PLC simulator. The digital inputs from MS to the Do More will start at MC1. This will start at address 0 due to the offset of 1. Digital outputs from MS to the Do More PLC will start at MI1. This will begin at address 0 due to the offset of 1. Select the OK button. You will now see the inputs and outputs specified for our Modbus driver. We can manually assign the driver outputs to the PLC inputs and the driver inputs to the PLC outputs. However, the automatic assignment works well and will save you time. Select Automatic Assignment from the Driver Options in the main menu. This will automatically assign the PLC I.O. to the Machine Simulator I.O. Select Start Driver and exit from the main menu. On the bottom left side of the window, the driver communicates to the Do More PLC Simulator with the green light. Select View I.O. to know the input and output status of the Machine Simulator. Ensure the Do More PLC Simulator is in Run Mode. We can see the operation of our pallet management machine. The digital inputs and outputs of the MS will correspond to the PLC controller. Using the data view window of the Do More Designer programming software, we can also watch the inputs and outputs operate. Using Machine Simulator to test the program will ensure that our program works. Troubleshooting is easily done without damage to any physical hardware. You can practice your modification and debug by modifying the pallet management machine and do more program in the following way. Add a control panel with start stop buttons. Calculate the rate of pallets with boxes coming out of the pallet management machine in parts per hour. Add an exit sensor instead of the timer in our program to ensure that the box with the pallet is out of the machine. Let me know how you made out in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.